The events of the past few weeks have turned the banking industry upside down. Big investment banks look... Yo, yo, yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, this So is this the end of capitalism as we know it? If you want to get in touch, you can call us... Yo, are you okay? Uh, I tried to call you yesterday. I was asleep maybe about midnight, one o'clock in my bed, and there was an incredible thunderstorm that made me jump out of bed. And uh, I, I jumped to the window because I thought the rain was coming. Was, the rain was so intense, I thought it was coming in the, the apartment. I, I, it, so I jumped up and I looked outside, I looked around me in a daze. And then, and then at that point, for some reason, I knew I was going to jail. Every time I return to New York, I think, this never happened. It seems like a bad dream. Do you safe now? I am safe. But then, soon, they will find a way to remind me that I'm trapped, that we are trapped, trapped in their story. It's a long time since Dee stopped carrying a cell phone. We don't throw away anything with our names on it. I don't tell anyone how long I will stay or when I will return. We don't go for walks anymore. I sometimes don't go out at all. Some of my friends say I'm paranoid. They may be right, but that doesn't change the fact that our neighbor has installed a camera pointing at our door. He has made it clear that the image is transmitted over the internet. Whoever is watching can follow our every move. When we come and when we go, who visits and what we buy. I believed that there were laws in place and there were documents in place that protected me, that would protect me, that always protected me from a corrupt policeman, an illegal arrest, uh, uh, an abusive institution, uh, an abusive corporation, and a, but obviously that's an illusion. That was a that was a horrible illusion. I didn't think that they would even think about bringing me in trial. I didn't think they'd even go as far as to try to convict me. We went to a specialty um, ink manufacturer, and we had the inks matched in a certain way to the proofs of color. So what we have here in this book is really color that sort of reflects the time that's more like the more 60s color in terms of its rendition. The trap is a story. The story is not about me, but I'm a witness to all of it. To begin with, it's a very trivial story, simple-minded, even ridiculous. But the consequences are anything but ridiculous. Dee faced 11 criminal charges. He pled not guilty to all of them. One of the things you hear all the time is nigger. That nigger, this nigger. And the gods call people niggers. The, 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 all the inmates call each other niggers. I mean, they, they kept their distance uh, from me about, uh, about that, but they referred to me as a nigger quite a bit also. 
you know, in conversation, in et cetera, et cetera. That nigga is reading all the time. That nigga is writing all the time. Um, the, the, the man who, the other prisoners, there was at one point, there was a, a man, he'd come from Romania. Um, he was referred to as, by everyone as the Jewish nigger. So everyone was a nigger. Uh, you know, you, uh, you know, uh, 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 we were niggers on a plantation. You know. Did you call someone a nigger? Uh, I. It's just like asking me if I ever call a said faggot. You know. Um, uh, you know. The trap is a story, and the story was written while we were thinking about other things. Ideas to develop, ideas to forget, projects to do, friends to meet, films to see, books to read, bills to pay, when to eat, what to eat. How to live, where to live, together, when possible. I used to make a joke that once you crossed 110th Street, that people lived on the communism, and south of 110th Street, people lived on the capitalism. In a sense that, in a sense that, you know, all the sort of normal mechanisms of a, of, of 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 an advanced uh, democratic capitalist system function smoothly south of 110th Street. In 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 Harlem it was it 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 it, it the, the parts of the economy still function on barter, um uh, low level trading, uh exchange of services, um you know people selling one cigarette at a time on the street, the so called Lucy trade. So the, 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 the point is that Harlem was ripe for investment and also ripe for profit. I think I know how they set the trap now, even if I'm not sure exactly who they are. The thing is, I still can't figure out why. Could it happen to anyone? Or just to someone like Dee? The beginning of this story is not just me. It actually, there is a number of events. You know, there's almost wild police arrest of, you know, of people everywhere, you know, sirens wailing all the time, people being grabbed and thrown into cars, the kids coming from school and being followed okay, by... No, by, I, I, no, I no, 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 let me, let me finish. I want to do this. By tens, by, by tens of police, all of these, uh, by, uh, you know, by, by uh, large groups of police, all of this has to do with this cleansing of, of Harlem. It was, in Harlem was black culture. When 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 the Anglo Americans, as well as upper middle class African Americans, started moving, then there were series a series of conflicts that developed from the traditional way of living and the way people lived before, regardless of how they lived, and the new ideals that were being brought with the new investment. I mean, people, the people who lived here for a long time were very frightened. 